Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, to date, we have the Rule Breakers Team 2 that is essentially pretty much fully leaked. Uh, there's probably gonna be like a mini release on the Sunday like they usually... Is it the Sunday? I think it's Sunday or Saturday. Yeah, it's usually the Sunday that they usually do. Um, so we'll see which players come out. Uh, there's no pep in this one. I need pep in my life. Portuguese center back because you know what? His rare gold card has like the right base stuff. So if they were to give him a special card for like those Portuguese links and Liga Noj links, it would be absolutely incredible because of Manafa existing, right? So I need it. I need it in my life because I, I can get so many easy links in my squads um, if he actually existed. But guys, uh, it looks like a really good team, to be honest with you. Uh, with the way that FIFA works this year, uh, there's going to be so many very, very usable cards, right? In different ways. A uh, lot of different reviews that we're going to try our best to get out today. Uh, today, we're probably going to be uploading, like, I would say, maybe minimum eight videos, I would say, if we can, right? But, guys, the first one is going to be Frank Ribery's card, which is obviously going to be a really, really sick player. Because with Frank Ribery, this card uh, is someone who is a five-star, five-star player that can play center forward, cam, or striker. Now, here's the thing, guys. Uh, he could potentially be one of the best cams in the game if they end up making him uh some sort of like explosive player or whatever but even if he's controlled i could still potentially see him being a really good cam you know why because as we know from previous years having the medium low work rate in the cam position is absolutely brilliant in this year's game I would say that the certain high, high work rated cards actually perform well there if they're playing in that original position. Uh, for instance, Bernardo Silva is really good. Like, I need a special card of his because he'd be nuts. Hopefully an SBC, that'd be even better. But yeah, the fact that this card is medium low in FIFA and the way that this game works, I feel like it'd be really nice for him, right? Five star, five star capabilities. Uh, he has the outside foot shot trait. Maybe they add a finesse shot. I don't think they will, but an outside foot shot trait is literally all, the, all that you need for this card to perform to the best of his ability, right? Because he's going to have pace, he's going to have dribbling, shooting. The predictions that you could see here, I mean, imagine a card like this where you can give a Hunter chemistry style to, but his dribbling is already going to be in a good area. His passing is going to be in a good area. Hey, you know what? Potentially, you might even be able to give him like an engine chemistry style, but I think they're going to massively improve the dribbling where you don't actually have to do that, right? But I'm curious to see what stats they actually give him to turn him into a lengthy or explosive, most likely explosive, not a lengthy, but... Yeah, we'll see if they end up uh, doing any of that. Uh, Tiago Alcantara, I could definitely see being very nice in this game. Uh, let me see Tiago's base stuff. So he is five-star skills, which is always a plus to have. Uh, medium, medium work rates, to be honest with you guys, in this year's game is not that bad. And the reason why I know this is because I tried out Hector Herrera's card, and he's really sick on an anchor chemistry style. Now, the thing is with this card is that he is an explosive type of midfielder. So I really believe that in a three midfield setup with the right improvements on the card, I could see him being very, very solid, right? Even if they look like this in-game stats-wise with 84 shooting, 89 passing. If you're playing like a 4-3-2-1, a 4-1-2-1-2, a he could be very nice in those positions. He could potentially be decent in a two CDM partnership, but I think it's always preferable, preferable to use different types of players in those areas, right? Like a high, high worker to Ronaldo Sanchez or something like that. Um... But yeah, Thiago definitely looks like he could be very good in this game as well. Uh, Sergio Ramos is the next one. Uh, Sergio Ramos is amazing for those links and for the fact that he's going to be lengthy. Here's the thing. Predictions here, he's already a base card stats of 81 pace. So he could be ridiculous because this card on an anchor chemistry style still gets lengthy, right? So the fact he can boost the pace, defending, and the physicality of the card while working with a unique body type is very interesting. Now, for some people, the balance that they're not going to want to have is the high medium work rate, right? Uh, which for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I do pref personally prefer the medium high. I think medium high for defenders is very, very nice. But there are moments where having that aggressiveness uh, can be very helpful, right? Uh, but it's just like the thing is that most of the center backs that are like really meta are medium high. So they balance each other out when one's high medium and one's medium high. Sometimes it's a little bit weird, depending on your play style too, right? But sometimes it's a little bit weird. But regardless for him, I still think he's going to be an absolute monster. Um, if you need to improve the pace even more, you can give him like a shadow potentially because his base card stats for physical um, will be in a very good area, right? So that could definitely be very good there. Uh, Kai Havertz, people were actually using the inform card uh, a little bit this year. 
because like I said, these cards are actually uh, incredibly usable. Now with the new version coming out, this card could be even more usable depending on what they actually do with him because uh, this card as of right now actually looks pretty nice on an engine chemistry style, right? You boost the pace a little bit, you boost the dribbling and the passing. You can't change his accelerate to explosive or lengthy. This is a usable card. However, shot power is low. If they give him the right stats for the new version of the card and his base card stats for shooting is significantly higher, um, this could also be another good player to use in the middle positions. You know, four star, four star capabilities. Uh, he has the outside foot shot trait. He has the finesse shot trait and the chip shot trait, technical dribbler. Like there's a bunch of right traits on the card that will make him play really nicely in game for someone who's going to be physical oriented too right because if they boost the physical imagine that an 84 i think these are predicted stats right but imagine if he has like an 84 physical on an engine the card is probably going to be very very nice right a lot of potential there um payet i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't think there's ever been a year in fifa where i actually liked payet maybe there maybe like an old one maybe maybe like a really really old one like Maybe West Ham days, potentially. I don't really remember like liking him too much. The reason why I never really liked this card is because in previous years, his body type being stocky, it influenced him too much in regards to in-game performance. But dribbling works very differently this year, right? Obviously, there's always going to be like a specific meta that people want more than any anything else. But there's way more potential with this card this year, right? He's five foot nine, high, medium, stocky body type. Um, he could maybe be like a Fakir card this year, maybe, right? Depending on what they actually do with him because he's also a card that has the outside foot shot trade. It's funny because they give these trades, you know, and they're like, you know what? We're going to put all these guys in the beginning for the promos. <laughs> um, but yeah, technical dribbler is definitely very nice too. We'll see if that actually helps with the animation choices on the card because it's also a card that plays camera striker French League One, right? So very good links to work with there. Uh, Sissoko, I think, is going to be a beast, to be honest with you. Uh, reason being for this is because there has been years where Musa Sissoko's card from Spurs was absolutely incredible because he had the right stuff, right? Uh, Sissoko for this year's game is base lengthy, right? Which is a massive plus, regardless of you playing old gen or new gen on a shadow chemistry style. Um, you know, imp improving his pace as much as possible with his defending is going to be pretty wild, right? A card like this, if he still has a high high... Oh, dude, he's medium high. That's even better. Oh, my goodness. That's even better. Because you want him to be your more defensive oriented card. Oh, this guy's going to be a beast, I think. Oh, yeah, he's going to be a beast. He I could see him being expensive. That medium high change is a really big difference. That's a big difference, man. Solid player trait. Yeah, that's a huge difference. I could see him being very good then. Base lengthy on a shadow with medium high. Yeah, he. I, I think he's going to be... He could be one of the best in the game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He could be, man. That, those links are really crazy to work with in that league. Uh, Smith Rowe is the next one. The Arsenal fans have actually been getting some pretty sick cards so far this year. Martinelli inform card too, right? Uh, this card's a cam, left wing, left mid, so many different position changes. Four star, four star, high, high work rates. Yeah, this card's going to be sick, I think. He'll be nice. What's his uh, body type? So he's average, six foot tall. See, the thing is, though, is that it, it just adds a variable to the card when they're high, high. It's such a big deal. It's such a massive deal because you can't give him anything right now. We don't know what they're going to do in the future with the new card, right? But if you give him like a Hawk chemistry style, using him in the actual side positions, like if you're playing like a 4-4-2, 4 4 2 4 2 3 one 4 triple 2 um, you know, Lamb, Ram, those are going to be the ideal positions for him. Does he have traits? No, no traits. So no outside foot shot trade or anything like that. But for Arsenal links and English links, there's so many different things you can work with there. So that's actually very nice. I like that too. Uh, most of these cards are Ws in like their own way, right? Because this year's game is very, very different. Uh, different. Ivan Tony. Yeah, this guy, if he's lengthy. Base lengthy on Architect. Mm, I, I feel like he's going to have more options if they make him lengthy. Three-star, three-star really sucks, though. It does. Um, it is always nice to have the weak foot, but I don't feel like he's going to be that big of an issue. Maybe he's going to be... No, I think the gameplay objective is like Luke de Jong or something, right? Um, but yeah, with Tony, three-star, three-star capabilities, maybe they give him like a four-star weak foot. I don't think they really do that 
that often in the beginning of the year, though. It's not really like a thing that they do. Power header, he could be very good in the air, actually, because he's six foot two, high in average body type, while already working with 89 jumping. So you can give this card a hawk, right? And on a lengthy, if he turns into that with a hawk chemistry style, he could be very nice, to be honest with you. Because base card stats or pace will be massively improved too. Dribbling will be massively improved. So that could be um, pretty deadly to deal with because a player that can have height like that and can jump that high is, uh, is pretty nice. His heading accuracy is not great though. It's kind of one, it's kind of interesting how that's in defending, like heading accuracy, you know what I'm saying? It's a little weird. Like would, it, would attacking, heading, being in finishing? I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how it works. Because that's in defending, right? So, um, Lacroix, oh, Lacroix is probably going to be a monster, let's be real. Let's be real, guys. This guy is probably going to be... I didn't really like his... Um, last year, I didn't like his future stars that much. Man. I thought he was super overhyped. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Oh, he's going to be a monster. No, no, no. This year is different. This year is different. Yeah, yeah. That's not even, like, up for debate. I mean, you can, you get, you can get this... This card could have been a promo card, and he's already, like, crazy. Look at him. For the beginning of the year? Are you, are you kidding me? It's funny, because I did use this card for a little bit in the beginning on some people's accounts for, like, the reviews and stuff. And, uh, yeah, he's pretty nuts, right? Base lengthy as well. Yeah, not really much to say there. He's going to be uh, very, very nice. Uh, Avila. Avila's the next one. Yo, Avila's back, eh? Wow. Yo, Avila was like... Let me tell you guys something, man. What a card it was last year. What was it? The Not the Future Stars. It was the... Um, I can't remember. You guys can check out the YouTube video. He was one of the, the, um, the swap objective cards that you swapped towards. He was... 100% worth getting, bro. He Is he still high, high? Oh, he's still high, high with a five-star weak foot. And he's five foot eight. Oh, this guy. I think this guy's going to be a beast again, man. Yeah, he could be a beast again. What is he like on a hunter? Ooh. As a striker? Dude, you know what? As a cam? No, dude, there's so many positions you could play a card like this. So many different positions. Let me see what the predictions are here. So dribbling is lower. Yeah, dribbling is lower on the card. If I give him a hunter chemistry style, he could be nice again, man. Because Avila last year, like that objective card, I'm telling you, like not objective, it was like you put swaps towards getting it. Such a beast, man. I, he 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 is the most surprising card from last year's game. Like I was like, what am I seeing? Uh, Munir Munir, I, I like for um, chemistry links and stuff. That's actually um, that's actually pretty nice, right? Because Belgian links. Uh, Borussia Dortmund links for the future. He's a card that is actually pretty good, right? Lengthy as well. Shadow chemistry style or an anchor. Excuse me. Anchor chemistry style or a shadow on him could be um, very, very beneficial for this card. Absolutely. Four star weak foot's a huge plus. High in average body type, high medium. Um, usually it's better to have like a high defensive, but I mean, with all the cards in this game, you can't get high defensive for everybody, but that's, they're going to be like the better cards, right? Like Kyle Walker and all those guys, all those guys, super, super helpful to work with. But Munir definitely looks nice. And then this is the card that most people are probably going to be getting. It's stupid, and it's stupid. And <laughs> I don't know to say this guy's name. Let's be real. Um, this is mainly going to be for Brighton links. If, um, Trossard gets a card in the future. You know, if Trollstar gets a car in the future, like that could be something really cool to work with. But for the rest, he's mainly just going to be like a left back that you get for the sake of getting, you know what I'm saying? Because. Because Ecuador, there's not really much to work with. Right. And uh, Malicia is probably still going to be a better option. Probably. Right. Also gives you links in your team very easily. This is going to be a hard card to link. So. Yeah, definitely some interesting stuff there. But uh, yeah, there's that. And then I know that De Jong is a gameplay objective card, right? Not this one. I wish it was, though. <laughs> when I saw De Jong, like at first, like first second, I was like, <gasps> no way. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be this one, right? So they're probably going to make him a lengthy as well. And he could actually be pretty decent because Eredivisie players, like people are looking for Eredivisie players. So getting links to players like Gakpo and some Dutch guys, like there's a lot of very interesting things you can work with there, right? But they would have to make him a lengthy or just good on a Hunter chemistry style because the Hunter actually increases the finishing on the card and the shot power to be in a very, very good area, right? So um, yeah, World Breakers Team 2 definitely looks like an interesting one. You can see that I'm saying I'm Sage because there's no uh, Pepe. 
Uh, Marino is another card that they did talk about as well in Team 2, which is probably going to be in the... Um, the small release, right? Probably going to be the small release for that one. Uh, he's a base lengthy as well with a high, high work rate. So this card could potentially have similar characteristics without the weak foot, of course, right? Because Valverde has the weak foot, but he could potentially be a new, cheaper Valverde card, right? He could be because on an architect chemistry style, if they boost boost the pace significantly and they boost the defense significantly and you could turn him into a lengthy because guys Valverde on a lengthy is crazy because he already has good pace and good defending right I'll show you guys so Valverde uh just the player of the month card because that's the one that we use right 257k as an SBC is pretty solid in my opinion for what he offers in game for a card that you don't have to like buy because this card is a right wing right mid so you would have to work with that variable right but a card that you're putting fodder into is a little bit different. Um, we t I showed you guys the review. Anyways, yeah, so a card like this that has defensive capabilities, that has pace, that I can give an architect to so that he's a well-rounded midfielder is fantastic, right? Boosting strength, phys uh, aggression, all that kind of stuff. It works so well for a card like this. Like, you don't have to give a shout out to this guy, right? So uh, it could be a very similar situation uh, to the uh, Marino card, right? Marino could definitely be uh, pretty wild, pretty wild. Can't believe you haven't announced the GOATS Hazard. I don't think there's anything else here. Let's see. So let's go to Foot Sheriff here and see if there's anything else. Team two, team two. Uh, rolled on. That that's that card. Uh, like he just looks very generic for the most part. Uh, but it's for the MLS links for anybody that wants to build any MLS teams. Um, and then that is pretty much it. Oh, Davinson Sanchez is also another one too. Guy is gonna be pretty happy about that one. Davinson Sanchez. Yeah, so Davinson Sanchez, base lengthy, you give him a shadow, probably going to be a monster. Medium high, unique body type. He has all the right things. You can actually give him an anchor too, which is a huge plus because if they boost the base card stats for pace uh, to be in a decent area, he could definitely be a monster too. But I do believe that that is it. Kessier plus two is coming your way. I have that for my RTG account actually. Yeah, so that's the objective. De Jong card, so if they make him a lengthy, he's sick. Oh, Becker. Yeah, that's the player pick SBC. Becker could be decent if they make him lengthy as well. Um, this guy is uh, apparently the top goal scorer in the Bundesliga right now, which uh, fair play to him. You know, that's uh, Union Berlin is actually doing very well this year, uh, which is awesome. But yeah, he is a physical type striker. So I don't think top division guys will like him too much. But obviously, we're going to be testing him out in game. Uh, I always get the one that is most liked on Footbin when I do the reviews for these cards, right? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.